All right, ladies and gentle folk, we back. As is tradition, let's view the lines first, just to kind of see what's going on here, even though absolutely nothing has changed. It's more so if you're like, hey, I'm gonna watch this series out of order. Then it doesn't matter. But you should watch it in order. Just because. I don't make the rules. Just enforce them. Keller, Schmaltz, and Michelli. Beautiful first line. Genther, Cooley, Kraus. Great. As we mentioned, a lot of young talent on this team. ASAP Sir gonna be paired with Dursey, and then we got Marino and Cole. Even the bottom two here are nice. And in the cage, at the age of 17, I don't think that's allowed. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure we are actively breaking the law. So how's about we play some hockey? We've only played one game so far. We had a 903 save percentage, which we kind of came back in and clutched at the end there. Didn't win the game. We're going up against New Jersey, which is kind of scary because they're a really good team and they have two of the cover athletes this year. Logan Cooley currently point a game, but I did kind of want to check something out. I feel like he wouldn't be, but I want to see if Celebrini's in the game or not. Oh, he is! Macklin Celebrini right there. Amazing. All right, let's take on New Jersey and see if we can get our first win. It'd be really nice if we could walk into a good situation here. Don't expect that. It is 1-1 after 1 and it is 2-2. We do walk into a good situation. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's Heathering's back on. All right, hold up. So what I'll try to do is remember to go in the main settings after this game and then that should save it across the whole thing. Also, the game kind of sounds really loud right now, but I could be going crazy. All right, you think I'm not going to go for it? I am. Um, if it lets me skate. I guess I'll just make a little, little breakout pass. Or that. I'm so happy I made that save because if they scored there, 102% of that was on me. Think I got a little too confident there? That was a truly humbling experience. So I'm going to be a little more tender next time I go to carry the puck. This boy is covered in snow. What happened there? I would define that as less than ideal. But you know what? It's okay. We still got tons of time here. The lads can get a goal. We could push overtime or better yet, we'll get two. And I just won't let any in. It's that simple. All you really have to do is set it to W for Wumbo. If anybody gets that reference, I will be extremely surprised, but also extremely happy. Whoa, little glove save, and I'm gonna throw it out, even though Jack Hughes was all up in my grill. Timo, what are you gonna do? Don't get any funny ideas. Well, I am very happy that our defense stepped up there and deleted him. Here we go, 9-2, clean draw win. I believe in you. You know what? Yeah, he did it. Let's go, Logster. Yeah, just skating right into the defender is also one of my favorite things to do. It works like 1% of the time, but when it works, let me tell ya. Another great draw win from 9-2. Me and this guy are gonna have no troubles. Big save. Has Hughes gone off the ice yet? Like... I guess you don't need to when you're doing stuff like that. Why would they take you off the ice? My positioning might not have been great there. I'm not really sure. That could just be attributed to being a low overall goaltender. Like, that's gonna happen. I was all fired up when I saw that we were gonna come into this period with a 2-2 tie, but then Jack Hughes has just absolutely owned me. Rent-free. Okay. All right. So, two things. He's still on the ice. I want to point that out. He is still there. He's about to play the entire third period. We didn't really get it in the first game, but I suppose this is the welcome to the NHL kind of moment, and not in a good way. Yeah, that's what I thought, Jack. That's what I thought. You're not getting the hat trick on me. Actually, he might have already got one of the sim goals, and I don't even know. Glove save on Timo. Toss it over to 2-8, who makes a great pass. Up to Clayton Kells. And he gets annihilated. Oh, man. You know what? That's just great job on the goaltender. The passing was there. Oh, look at that. He's finally on the bench. It's a Christmas miracle. There we go. A little save off the one-timer. So I have noticed just now that I am much more Lightning McQueen when I'm down in Butterfly. So 
I gotta stop moving like this, and I gotta start moving like this. So let's take that game, throw it behind us real quick, and move on. Kai looks miserable every time he comes off the ice. Simulating two games in a row here. We won the last one. Can we beat the Bruins? Oh, we do! Once again, we are not in against the Ottawa Senators. 4-3-0. Who says no? Apparently, the Ottawa Senators say that. Oh, no way. I was just gonna say, I really hope we play San Jose soon, and I hope we're in net for it, because I want to go head-to-head -head against Macklin Celebrini. Don't put us in against LA. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? This is a good sign. We haven't played in a while. We might be in against San Jose. Certainly no promises, but... You can't script this. You honestly can't make this up. I am so beyond ready for Macklin to score seven goals on me in the third period. As we do, let's simulate and see what kind of situation we're going to be walking into here. First period is a 3-1 game. Nothing from Macklin. Oh no, I just kind of thought we might have to lock it down here because we could get pulled. Second period, 4-2, and it was Macklin with a peeper. And this is our first time actually being on the ice and controlling the goaltender while at home. What's interesting is that tethering is still off. So it's like it remains for the session. So if I go to the main screen controller settings, it's gonna already be off, no? Nice goal, Michelli absolutely picked that corner. Vitek Vanacek getting sniped on. And we have ourselves a one goal game. Matthias, what a beautician. Right off the draw, back to the D. Sends it down low. Ooh, I, I do like these replays. I can't lie to you right now. We got to stand tall back here because we are still down by one. So if they get one more, that could be the nail in the coffin. Nice save with the blocker. Eklund thought he had one there. I could tell just by the look on his face. He's like, yeah, I'm scoring. I feel like I would have had that had the twig not snapped but I'm okay that we didn't find out to be honest yeah this is it there's a goal right here make my words nice try what a save you know what when a goaltender's gonna make saves like that there's not much you can do there he is Macklin Celebrini get did he just score off of my armpit because I think that's what happened here and I'm upset about it. First of all, what a pizza by that defenseman. That was a donation. Like, these guys talked before the game 100%. And there was the delivery. I still actually am not sure what happened there. It's already his seventh goal as well of the season. So he is going to jump up in overall. It's not even going to be progression. He's just going to go 82-95. Why do you not shoot that? Why do you not shoot that, Dylan? What a spectacular save. Vitek is on one right now. This goaltender is actually on fire. Like, we should call the department. Here he is again. Macklin to Granlund, and that shot's going to be blocked. I actually, like, in real life kind of got into that. Wow. <laughs> Cheeky little save. Wasn't a tough one. But it pads the stats. I can't speak for all goaltenders in the league, but if you want to throw any stat padders at me, I will not be complaining. Excellent work. Phenomenal work. Little poke check off the defender. How come every... That would have been so loud. This water bottle... I basically just falcon punched it into my keyboard. So thankfully I opened something else so it didn't mess with any of the recording things. But if that hit the ground, might have exploded. I'm not gonna let this water bottle take away from the fact that we just came back within one goal though. This is huge, massive news. And we get a power play. I'm just saying. Here we go lads, make it work. Is that another one? No, I don't think so. Sergachev just trying to sell a little bit. A little bit of Hollywood going on with 9-8. And keep it. Oh, I just got out. Okay. Let's just refresh here. All right. Hit the F5 key and go back in and score. I like the effort. Power play's almost over. He was so far to the side of the net. I don't know how we didn't score there. Let's go, Cooley. That's a good shot. 
know, you can't score if you don't shoot. Well, I mean, you technically could. Good defending, except for the fact that you just got absolutely dropped by Tyler Toffoli. Another big save. Vitek Vanacek is actually not really on one. He's let up. Go. Score! We're getting great chances. Granny Smith is going to pass it in the middle. That's going to get blocked. All right, come on. We got a minute left. We can do this. I believe in the Utah Yeti. I mean, hockey club. There's, there's not much you can do there. there. Yeah, our player, what he just did, exactly. Stick on the head, leaning back. Are you kidding me? Couldn't have said it any better myself, even though he didn't say anything. I suppose I have to turn off controller vibration. I don't know if it's because, like, it's supposed to be a heart pumping thing. Game's coming to an end here. And they're trying to kind of, you know, get you feeling what the goaltender should be feeling. Seriously? We should have, like, four more goals. This game can be fully blamed on me because four goals should definitely be enough to win you a hockey game, and I let the lads down. No, you didn't have to do that. That's like... I. And now our player is also trying to take me out? Come on, dude. It's only like my third game. I know I'm not playing great, but chill out. And with that, we are still yet to win a game, and it does not feel good. Yeah, coach, I know. I haven't been playing great. I apologize. Try my best out there, you know. NHL hockey, just a different pace of play. The players shoot a little bit harder. And I'm also 66 overall. We got to win two of the next four games. I say that's highly unlikely. Those statistics in the upper right-hand corner there are grotesque and they're kind of hurting my feelings. We have the Winnipeg Jets with a very similar record to us. So this is a huge game. I mean, it's only the 13th game of the year, but it's still important. I would like everybody to note that we have 21 shots to their four after the first period. And yet the score is the exact same. Let's see how we do after two. This is our first time going into a winning game here, I think, right? It would be massive if we could win this game because that would be one of the two we need to win from the next four already. So there's that. And then on top of that, it would just be a great way to end the episode to finally get a W. So that's not going to happen. Less than a minute into this third period and Plinko... <laughs> no! No! I don't believe it. I don't want to keep bringing up the overall. Sure, some of these my positioning is not ideal. I think it just plays a very important role. I'll say that. Great goal, Michelli, by the way. 2-2 two -two hockey game. We're not going to go down that easily. Why is this guy calling a timeout? You just scored two goals in a row. And then we got like a cheeky little probably shouldn't have even gone in goal. All right, Marcus. Let's see what you got. Okay, he's getting fancy with it. Big save. I need to start. Yeah, I don't know. Like, my goaltender does feel really slow. I said I was going to start doing this more because you drop down, you move faster like that. Haven't been doing it. Are we going to score? No. Maybe? No. Yes? No. Velarde gets leveled. That was hitting the side of the net. That is, again, we're going to revisit here what I call a stat pattern. So thank you, Kyle Connor. That one was not going to pad the stats. He wired that. And we managed to get the save, so that felt pretty good. I thought for sure that they were going to have Hellebuck in the net, considering the 21 shots and no goal first period. But that is not the truth. Instead, they got a guy over here who looks like he's also wearing default equipment. The fact that we have 44 shots right now is absurd. How have we not scored on at least one more of those? Good save. It's just an all-timer right there. Clean draw win. You got to respect it. You also have to respect Velarde putting his body on the line to stop that puck from getting through. No way! Here we go. Blocker save. And then a clothesline from hell. 
Like, I didn't know we were playing JBL. Ref, you must call that. I don't know what's happening here. It's like, oh, the new team in town. We gotta suck. That was a mid save. But it was a save. Do not let the fact that it was mid distract you from the fact that it was a save. Ooh, I have not fought yet. I haven't done it. And I kind of want to. This would, however, be terrible timing because we're on the power play. And if we score here, we're in the lead with not much time remaining. So I'm going to remain chill. Nice pass. Let's go! Let's go! Before it even went in, I just saw it trickling in the net. I feel like four just tried to axe our player there. That's insane. Whatever. We scored. And we have a lead. This could be it. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. But I'm just saying. There's like, what? A minute and a half left? And we just got the lead. Low save on Shifley. They are upping the pressure here. And I feel it. Shifley just took a shot up high there. But he seems alright. Which is unfortunate. Another huge save. Like, we're just clutching up. That's what we do here. Win the draw, Cooley. Win it back. Oh, he's been so good. You know what? He deserves one face-off loss. It's not getting out. They still have the pressure up. I... Okay. Settle down. Keep the positioning. Calm. You can't be sliding. Okay, now we're kind of going off again. If we get one more here, they could score still, so I'm not going to pretend like it's over. But our chances go up drastically, and we are off to our first overtime. I am quite nervous. Let's go, Sergs. Let's go. Oh, the passing is impeccable, but unfortunately, we try to do one too many. And here come the Jets. Actually, here come... You know what? You know what time it is? It's flying poke check time! Because of course it is. <laughs> I was so ready for that to go off of my left skate and in the net. I had basically accepted it. Hustle. What are we doing here? Clayton, over to Sergachev. Are you trying to go five hole there? I guess that was, um, I, I wouldn't have done that. But you're in the NHL and I'm here, so. I almost got destroyed like my jock strap wouldn't have even been in the arena anymore skate sean skate sean what a save can you not guys score within the next 30 seconds i really do not want to go to a shootout i'm gonna get lit up oh cooley cooley did he just moonwalk another breakaway Another failed attempt to score. So either they're winning or we're going to a shootout and they're... Hold on. Hold on. You can't make this up. Come on, Clayton. Come on, make it happen. He didn't do it. He did not make it happen. I think I get one flying poke check in the shootout. Just one. And if I miss it, then sucks to be me. All right, nailed it. Let's see it, Schmaltzy. He's going in. A little backhand action, and the goaltender, like, I can't move. Like, humans do not react that fast. You know what I mean? The AI goaltenders are like, blue, blue, blue. back and forth nonstop. <laughs> to keep us alive? No, we, we didn't get our first win. I thought that was going to be it. I did. And it wasn't. I hate that for us. First thing I'm putting this stat into is speed. Give me some movement. Whoa, we jumped up to 67 overall. That's pretty huge. So not only does it suck that we didn't get our first win, but it also sucks that we have to win two of our next three now to accomplish that thing. But you know what? I feel like this GM 
Empty threats. He's not gonna send me down. At least we got Connor Ingram. He's keeping this ship afloat. And our next game, believe it or not, is against my boys, the Washington Capitals. At this point in time, we have 19 points and we are fifth in the Central Division. Pittsburgh is first in the league, 27 points. The Golden Knights have 26 points and they did it in two less games. And the Seattle Kraken have 26 points. They did it in one less game. 17th in the entire league. That's not too bad. Connor Ingram is the only reason for that. The Anaheim Ducks are suffering mightily. Logan, keep doing what you're doing. 14 points in 17 games. That is solid. And then we've got 13 from Michelli. 12 from Kerfoot and 8 goals from Michael Carcone. Clayton Keller has not put a puck in the back of the net yet. 11 points. And Genther also has 6 goals. Why do we have so many players with 6 goals? Connor Ingram, 9 wins, 4 losses, 2 shutouts, and a 937. I'm not going to read that second line, but uh, if you want to take it upon yourself to do so, I can't stop you. Aiden Hill right at the top, 13 wins, and he has a 937, which is the exact same as Connor Ingram, but he has a 187 GAA, Connor Ingram 199. Still sub two, which is unbelievable. Roman Yossi is going off. He's actually injured right now. Okay, so he has 19 games played, 22 points. Point a game for Kale McCarr, Evan Bouchard, very close, same with Dunn. And then there's this guy, 39 points in 19 games with 21 goals. <laughs> Fair enough. Kirill the Thrill, 30 points in 17 games. Marner, 36 in 19. Will Nye, I think it's just safe to say that the Leafs are doing very well. I feel like this whole game mode is clickbait. It's more like be an amateur or perhaps even be a trash can. There is a silver lining. The good news is that... It's only uphill from here. I don't think we can get much worse. I did quite well in our first game and then it has been a complete regression since. But again... We can only go up from here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying. I mean, I guess this is only episode two, but still, I hope you liked the first two. If you could leave a like and subscribe, I'm down. And on that note, I'll see you soon.